a century. 100 years of worship on the same special piece of ground, growing in parallel with the new model city. From a half acre lot to a full city block and beyond, of messages and music, births and baptisms, the Congregation of First Baptist Church of Kingsport has written its history on the circle in the heart of the city. Loving God and loving people, bridging generations. This is some of that story. Aside from worship, the Sunday School has been the leading program of First Baptist Church for all its 100 years. Sunday School continues teaching the good news based on the Bible. Classes have been organized and added from the cradle world to senior adults and now offer diverse approaches to Bible study. Hundreds of dedicated workers have given service in this way. Some of them sacrifice sleep to do it. Charles Goodwin, professional musician with his own big band orchestra, often had Saturday night engagements miles away, but would arrange it so he could get back to play Sunday morning at First Baptist Church. Yes, he would often play organ or piano for worship services, but felt his main obligation was to play piano in Sunday school assemblies for children. His most requested church piano solo was an arrangement of Jesus Loves Me. The WMU organized soon after the church's formation. Newspaper articles through the years show more notices for women's programs than any other activity of the church. This was particularly true during the Circle era, with weekly meetings held at homes all over town. The women also sponsor programs for children, including GAs and RAs. First Baptist Church continues its affiliation with the Sullivan Baptist Association, Tennessee Baptist Convention, and Southern Baptist Convention. Members may also choose to designate offerings to either the Cooperative Program or the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship, of which First Baptist is a top 200 giving church. Deacons have provided leadership and service to the church body through the use of their spiritual gifts since the congregation's inception. In 1999, after much prayerful consideration, First Baptist Church began ordaining women as deacons. Many church programs are carried out by volunteers. In addition to Sunday school, First Baptist members serve on mission trips, help with baptism and communion, vacation Bible school, music, upward basketball and cheerleading, tutoring, Habitat for Humanity, sound booth, and much more. In addition to the Ministry of Encouragement, brought to the church by Pastor Frank Hawkins. First Baptist Church purchased nearby properties as they became available. In 1983, a large parking lot was constructed on lots purchased on Charlemont Street. In 1992, the church purchased and demolished the Homestead Hotel, which had been a familiar landmark in Kingsport, but had fallen into disrepair. Adjacent to this lot on Play Street was an office building, which had also become available and was purchased by the church for its growing outreach ministries. The counseling ministry had been started by former associate pastor Ron Davis with sessions held in offices or rooms in the main campus, but the purchase of 441 Clay Street provided a better private setting. It has spun off into the nonprofit Covenant Counseling Center, located in Suite 2 with an entrance on the back side of the building. Beth Kitzmiller is the director. After a church-wide visioning effort in 2005, the Providence Medical Clinic was started to provide free medical care for low-income residents of Kingsport. Its scope has greatly expanded over the years. The church continues to sponsor the Amazing Grace 5K to support the nonprofit clinic. Its entrance is also at the rear of the building. Dr. Marta Waite is the medical director and Michelle Campbell is clinical director. Recovery at Clay Street provides help for those troubled by hurts, hang-ups, and habits. Formerly Celebrate Recovery, this ministry provides a 12-step Christian-based program to help those with a variety of personal issues or addictions. Jack Carpenter provides leadership, and meetings are now held on Wednesday evenings. The entrance is in the front or Clay Street side of the building. Finally, a part of Supermarket Row, West Sullivan Street between Clay and Revere Streets was purchased in 2006 
and after a review of the buildings showed them to be unusable, they were demolished and grass planted until future use is identified. The large parking lot is available for church use. To unify the church structures and provide better access on the west side of the church campus, First Baptist finished in 2016 a new connecting building featuring a grand atrium and two-level entrances, a multi-purpose room, and a lower area providing up-to-date preschool and children's programs with secure play area. It's not just for aesthetics. So what's the point of building this building? Was it for us to have a great place to gather like this? Well, it's wonderful. Was it for us to have more rooms, that's wonderful. But the reason we're here, the only reason we're here, is to show people Jesus. So, the First Baptist Campus started with the new city's first church in 1916, but expanded just 10 years later with a new sanctuary and Sunday school wings. An educational building was added, then the church acquired the rest of the property on the block and built the new activities building and a parking lot. Then two more parking lots and 441 Clay Street became the busy home of FBC Outreach Ministries. Across the street, a block of Supermarket Row was added with a large parking lot available and space for future use. The newly constructed building at Sullivan and Charlemont completes the plan for the main block with growth in the future to come beyond. Next time on First Baptist Church of Kingsport, it's time to start thinking about the next 100 years. We've had a great history, but it's up to you, the congregation, to develop the storyline to be reported 100 years from now.